Hey guys, welcome back to KC Farms on this beautiful January day. Almost 60 degrees today, kind of crazy. Last video, we put our boars together. They were fighting a little bit. We're gonna go back and show you them today, but we also mentioned we were gonna talk about one of our most asked questions today. What or how many pigs should I start out with? Let's walk around, check out some pigs, and we'll answer that question for you today. Okay guys, we might as well start up with the young pigs because usually this is what you're gonna take home if you do end up getting pigs. Pigs that are about eight weeks old. These guys are around six right now, so they are almost ready to go home. They do not get weaned from mama until they are eight weeks old. And sometimes mamas do that for us. Other times we take mamas out because we don't want these piglets to suck mamas dry. Some mamas will just lay down and let them nurse forever. Others will wean them themselves so at eight weeks old you should be getting up your picking up your piggies sometimes we keep them an extra week when they're not with mama just to make sure they're doing okay by themselves but they do start eating hard food a uh, week and a half two weeks old so they do well by themselves once they're weaned but we get this question a lot someone will email us and say we want a breeding pair a male and a female and that is probably the worst option you can do when you're getting pigs now it all depends on your goals as well but you do not want these pigs to be alone you want them to have a companion they don't do that well alone um but that's how we started we told the breeder we wanted a male and a female and she helped educate us that that is not the best option so now like i said it all depends on your goals do you want them just for meat Do you want them to breed and have piglets? Do you want them for yard ornaments or pets? So you gotta figure out the goals for your farm, what you want to do. Okay, this is probably not what you want to do. You do not want to start out with a ton of these pigs. Start small, go slow, see if it's something you want to do. You may get them and realize, hey, this is not for me. I thought it was something else. They sure look cute on the videos, but I get them home and these are not the breed I want to raise. So I would start small. Now, the reason we said a breeding pair, two pigs, is probably the worst idea is because that female can come into heat as early as five months old, okay? And I'm not saying the male would breed her that early, but it is a possibility and you do not want your female to get bred too early. It's very unhealthy for her and it could kill her. Um, there's a lot of reasons you don't want that pig to get bred too early. At five months old, you're gonna need to separate that breeding pair and they need to be in separate pens. So if you put the two pigs in separate pens, then those pigs are gonna be by themselves and it's just not a good situation for those two pigs to be by themselves. We have heard that if you raise them together, male and female, they also may end up not breeding. We've never had to deal with that issue. Our males always get the job done, but they're normally not together until we are ready for them to breed. So it's a little different for our situation. So if you're just wanting to start out and see if they're an animal that you want to raise, your best bet is to start with two barrows. We call them barrows. I was corrected by a former farmer that it is a barrow. A barrow is a castrated male. They make the best companions. They make the best pets. Um, so if you're just wanting to figure out, is this a breed I want to raise or possibly am I going to eat them? I would start out with two 
borrows. Now, if you're positive that you want to breed them, maybe raise pigs for yourself in the future for your family to eat, then you will want breeders. So you're gonna want an intact male, you're gonna want a gilt, um, and you're gonna need partners for them. This is where you need to decide what do you want to do. You could do a male and a female and then get two borrows. So when you separate them, they each have a buddy. We thought about doing that, but we figured if we're gonna raise four pigs, we might as well get four of them that are actually we can use. I was going to say serve a purpose, but the borrows do serve a purpose as a companion. Um, so what we did is we got two males and two females. So that way we could breed, have piglets from each. And if we wanted to breed those piglets, we could if we wanted to. So that is the route we went. We went with two males that were intact and we went with two females. <laughs> now if you choose that route and you have two intact boars and two breeding females there is one thing you have to deal with and that is when you take those boars out and you're breeding those females and you put them back together they will fight for to see who the dominant boar is never fun to watch you saw our last video you've seen those boars fighting each other to figure out the pecking order let's walk back and check those guys out really quick and see how that turned out okay you can see we have five intact boars together in this pen and yes, yesterday they were fighting to figure out who was the king of the court or the king of the pen, the most dominant one. But you can see less than a full day later, they have all sorted it out and it is good. We've got a couple with some marks on them, little cuts, scrapes from the tusks. But overall, you can keep multiple boars together i came out this morning and the fence was all folded down they had thrown each other into the fence and so there is things you got to think about this is probably not the best fence for them to be arguing but they want to be where their food is at i saw one get tossed out and he ran back into the pen so we have five boars together they will sort it out and get a pecking order and live together just fine and not fighting all the time so, but that is the thing you need to think about if you're getting two intact boars, when you're putting them back, they are gonna fight. And it's not just the boars, it's the females too. Sometimes the females are nastier than the boys, but at least they don't have tusks. All right, if you do not wanna go with two intact boars, you can just do one intact boar if your plan is to breed, get him a borrow for a buddy. You could do two females. That way you could breed that boar to those two females. If you wanted a couple sets of pigs, maybe you wanted to sell off a few or you just wanted more for your family. Maybe you're going in with somebody and they want some offspring as well. So those are all options. The biggest thing is you just need to plan and don't consider getting one or two unless you already have pigs, then it doesn't matter because you can introduce them at your farm and they've got buddies when you need to separate we've had some people just get two girls they can stay together as long as they need to deciding whether maybe they wanted to breed later or if they wanted to add a boar or a borrow later that way they'd have two females if they didn't and they just wanted them for meat they could use the two females for meat also when you're thinking about these guys having two or four there's really not much of a difference especially in the summertime when there's good grazing they don't eat a lot um, it's really not that much harder to keep four as opposed to two so if you're thinking about man i just don't know if i want that many your best bet is to start off with two but it really isn't that hard going from two to four these guys are very easy keepers they're friendly even those boars back there i don't really care to get into the pen with them especially when we first put them back in there but we've never been attacked or they've ever 
seemed aggressive toward us. I'm not saying it couldn't happen. So you need to be careful when you're in a pen with all boars or even when you put them in for breeding. But just saying that, it is not that hard. Hey, Millie, how are you? Yeah. It is not that hard doing four compared to two. Okay, guys, I hope some of these tips helped you out. If you're thinking about starting, the biggest thing is just to plan, 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 and don't jump right into it without having a plan. Um, morning, they do not stay small and cute forever. I lied, they do stay cute forever, but they don't stay small. So if someone's telling you you're gonna have a tiny pig, I would probably tend to lean away from those people. They do get big. Um, but that is one reason we went with this breed because they don't get that big. I'm not scared of the full grown pigs, even the boars. Um, not worried about getting in the pen with them and getting run over. Obviously they could run me over if they wanted to, but this breed is docile, gentle. You always need to be aware, but they are not an aggressive breed. And some of those bigger breeds probably aren't aggressive, but when you weigh 600 pounds, you don't have to be aggressive to knock somebody around. So i hope this helped hopefully if you had questions it ha answered some of those questions and hopefully in 2023 if you're thinking about adding pigs you've got some things to think about to go through and talk with whoever you're getting pigs with about what's the best for your farm do you want to just do meat do you want to breed a few in the future so you can have their offspring for meat do you just want some pets Maybe the castrated males, a borrow is the best option for you. So do your homework, plan. I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope your new year is off to a great start and you've got some ideas of where you want to grow and where you want to go. Don't forget guys to make the change.